beautiful soul. I am Lemon Deb. Welcome to Soul Speaks. Today I want to share what Soul Speaks means to me, how it came about, and what I'm learning through meditation. Soul Speaks came about from meditation. I was meditating and then one day it was like, you need to start an episode called Soul Speaks, speaking from meditation because I'm learning so much about myself through meditation. It's many aha moments. It is just share worthy and I hope others will start meditating. I'll explain how I meditate, what prayer I use, and just the basics of meditation, what I'm learning, what my soul is speaking, basically. My husband is doing some yard work, so if you hear some chainsaw going, that's life. <laughs> So I want to talk about my introduction, Love and Deb. That is also, I shortened the name from Love and Debbie Soulfully. Debbie is my nickname. I have transformed and evolved so much. I don't feel that I'm Debbie anymore. To me, she is that weak, timid, shy girl. And I feel like I evolved so much more. I feel stronger and more confident and I'm more willing to just go and talk to someone and not feel afraid. So love and Deb. I feel that she's more powerful and confident and stronger and will get knocked down and get up and start fighting again. Yesterday's was February 1st and I did a meditation. So here's how I meditate. Yeah, that's the song. Um, I will put on some meditation music. Usually it's a type of healing music. Sometimes I use what's called the Insight Timer app. It's a free app, best app ever, because you can just bookmark stuff and it's all free. You can think you paid for, you can pay for the other upgraded program, but I don't use that one. Also on YouTube, I do a lot of the healing meditations on YouTube. So I will usually set my timer for 20 minutes. I don't really have much more time than that right now. So that's what works for me. I wonder how much more I would learn about myself if I did a longer meditation. So I will set, making sure I'm recording here. I will set my timer for 20 minutes, put on the music, and I will usually ask a prayer. God, speak to me. God, what do you want to show me? Or I'll have some questions. And a lot of times those questions are not answered. Something else will present itself and I'll be like, I never realized that. And then as I think about it, I realize how true it is. So I actually wrote in my, I have a little notebook. It's good when you meditate, after you meditate, if you have a notebook laying near and a pen, that way you can write some thoughts down and reflect on them or see where you need to, what you need to work on. So this is what I wrote yesterday and it was a big reveal, big aha moment for me because it is so true and I didn't even realize it because I have been stepping out of my comfort zone, making channels, I mean making channels, making YouTube videos, IG posts. If someone asked me to want to interview me, I've been doing the interviews, so I'm thinking this can't be true, but it is true 100%. So this is what I wrote. It's your time to shine. You have been hiding for way too long. And I thought, what are you talking about? I'm not hiding. I don't hide. I'm, you know, I'm shining. You were never meant to hide. You were created to shine. It was a big aha moment for me because I do hide. I hide all the time. I'm hiding in plain sight every day. <laughs> if we go to a party, even if it's a friend of mine, I will sit in the back by myself. If my husband's with me, I will still sit in the back or somewhere by myself because I don't want attention on me. So I am hiding and it is so true. I have been doing this for so long. And one of the reasons that I like recording at the park instead of the lake, because the lake usually, the sun's so bright and at the park, I'm by the trees. So I have shade is I have to take my sunglasses off because I want my eyes seen. And for the longest, I always wore glasses. It's like almost like an invisible shield. 
nobody can really see you if you have these glasses on, right? It's kind of somewhat of a mask. Does anybody else do this? Because I used to do it. I still do it. My glasses are prescription glasses. But a lot of times I will just keep them on because I feel like it's concealing, it's hiding part of who I am. So I'm taking the mask off. The mask is coming off. I can be free to just be me. And I was thinking, as I was thinking about this during the meditation, I was thinking about my channel and thinking, at one time I thought, oh, it'd be great to be like an overnight sensation, but that's not why I'm doing my channel. I wanna help people. And then during the meditation, Yesterday was like, there's no way I wouldn't want that kind of attention. That really scares me. To just be in the spotlight is really scary. And it's something that I have to work on. To just, I'm all about stepping out of my comfort zone. So, of course, I'm going to do things that are going to bring me towards shining. <laughs> but it's hard. I'm telling you, it really is hard. Even before I started recording this to share this, I was nervous. I was doing Mel's technique, five, four, three, two, one, and I was praying, Lord, you know, give me, help me through this. Because I still am very nervous before I start recording. It's just something that I'm working on. It is a fear and I feel this nervousness. And it's something that I'm gonna keep working on. And I hope this series will just help you. And I will be speaking from a place of meditation, the insight, what I'm feeling, what I'm learning about me telling you meditation is a powerful thing I had no idea all this stuff was inside all the stuff that you know I didn't know I didn't realize I was a part of me knew that because I knew that I had the sunglasses on or I would sit by myself because I didn't want attention drawn to me it's just you know who I've always been and I'm really realizing a lot about myself through doing interviews and just being still and believe me when I do meditation it doesn't mean I'm put on that 20 minutes and my mind is like oh you know it's not it's all over the place sometimes especially if I'm overwhelmed or worried or stressed it takes me longer to get in that place of stillness I will be like God control my mind help me give me the answers give, give me the just help me guide me I do want to be a better person. There's my husband's phone. It's called life. <laughs> almost went to the park, but it's going to be getting dark. And it is harder to record when the sun's setting. Just because the um, lighting and the airplanes and a lot of noise going on. So I, And this is my daughter's new room. Well, I should say old room, it's now I guess room. And two of our friends, my daughter's friends, not my friends, two of my daughter's friends slept here last night. And they felt the love, because they said they loved all the things. And I told them I do DIY, DIY and they love it. And I'm just learning so much about myself through this Soul Speaks. It's Soul Speaks Whispers of the Soul. And believe me, you can tap in, you can learn so much from yourself by quieting your mind, taking that time and listening. It is well worth it. On days that I do not meditate, I do not quite feel like myself. Doesn't mean that every day that I do meditate, I feel 100%, but I feel happier. I When I start my meditation and I ask God to just give me answers or to help, let me feel his presence. I will feel this peacefulness wash over me. Maybe not right away, but I will definitely feel a peacefulness. And it is the most beautiful feeling. And I just want you to love yourself because you are beautiful and you are worthy and you are precious and you are created to shine, baby. You are created to shine. So take that time listen inside and find out what's going on what you've been avoiding what you've been ignoring what you've been tuning out what you didn't want to learn about yourself when I'm nervous I also will mix up words because I did an interview and I said journal instead of journey so if I ever say something I, I caught myself before last video or two videos I said 
I think I, I went to say never give up and I said give up and I do not mean give up never give up on yourself so please excuse me if I do say something incorrectly because I do get nervous when I do my videos and because I don't script them I'm not perfect so I might have some grammar grammar article I see I can't even talk right now <laughs> I may say something incorrectly so if that happens note that I mean the opposite <laughs> like if I say give up I mean never give up because you never want to give up on yourself the more I get knocked down the more I get up lately I've been eating my feelings I have not been taking the time to eat like I want to I should say want to I haven't been feeling the need to eat but I know I need to eat and I've been turning to some sugar sometimes because I'm feeding my feelings and I don't want to do that and I've been skipping exercise because when I feel really overwhelmed it's like I don't know how to fit everything in so I need to prioritize I need to be on, more on task more on point and like this morning I did my exercise first and I did my meditation when I meditate I usually meditate like right here and just started using this room or the sofa I used to meditate in my bed but I will fall asleep I can't do the cross-legged sitting on the floor I'm 55 years old that just doesn't work for me it's very uncomfortable because I'm not flexible enough but I'm going to work towards flexibility because I want to be more flexible and I would love to just sit on a little yoga cushion and be all comfy and meditate. Goals, gotta have goals. Keep working on you, never give up. Get yourself, isn't this cute? I love dragonflies and thoughts, how appropriate. Um, got this one at Walmart. I think it was like two bucks. So I want you to have an amazing day. Remember to always stay positive. Keep fighting for you because you are beautiful, you are worthy, and you deserve the best. I love you. Always hugs from me. Have an amazing day and listen to what's in here. Cuties. And they're one.